Hey guys, my name is Simpsy. How you all doing? Welcome back to some more Troy, a Total War Saga. Here today we have some official campaign gameplay. The guys over at the Creative Assembly were kind enough to send out some B-roll footage for us to showcase. Uh, this is actually my first time seeing Troy Total War campaign footage. Now, this was incredibly unexpected, and I haven't got sort of a Word document to highlight certain features with you guys, so I'm sort of going to have to eyeball it and interpret this gameplay um, as best I can. So let me know in the comments if you sort of catch things that I don't, but I'll pause throughout this video to try and highlight certain things. So this campaign gameplay is going to be focused upon the newly announced hero Sarpedon for the Trojans. As you can see here, we've got Hector, Paris, Aeneas, and Sarpedon as the Trojans. Sarpedon is the son of Zeus. So this is our first look at this campaign start screen. There are 13 major playable factions. And looking at the sort of campaign map itself, there's roughly, from what I can see here in Eyeball, around about 140 settlements. But there's also these clusters of major playable characters in Asia Minor in Pergamon, and of course, back in Attia and back in Greece. So here we have some first look at some of the icons and building chains. In the top left, we have the resources of food, wood, I'm assuming that's either stone or marble, bronze and gold. The buildings are split into what you would see in Thrones of Britannia and, and Warhammer and such. Red for military, blue for ports. Uh, yellow is actually for special buildings, for example, building centaurs, which are a limited unit that you can recruit. You can't have like full-on centaur doom stacks if that's something you would like to see. Uh, we've also got the green for uh, food slash mining and wood resources and purple for religion, of course. In the bottom left, you can see that specific settlements produce resources, so you need to go out and, and capture as many of these resources as you can to build specific buildings. We've got growth, we've got happiness, and we've also got influence there in the bottom left as well. The Divine Will mechanic will allow you to worship and celebrate certain gods and their cults for campaign bonuses. You can actually worship any god you like, from Zeus, Ares, Apollo, Aphrodite, Athena to Poseidon. However, they will decay. So depending on your play style, you can pick and choose the certain gods you like. As you can see here, this player has gone uh, for Poseidon and Athena. However, they do decay, so you will need to maintain certain gods that you like for your play style and sort of neglect others. Here we have our first look at some of the agents that you can get, which is split into envoys, spies, priests, and we have a new epic agent here, the Gorgon, uh, which damages enemy garrisons. Uh, that's their action. Of course, many of you would know the famous Gorgon Medusa. So before we get into some cinematic battle footage with Sarpedon here today, just looking at the battle development screen here. He's currently level 11, so it looks like it's going to have a similar level up system to Warhammer. He's also got a purple armor plate and axe as well, so I'm assuming there's going to be mythical items that you can achieve. Uh, you can also invoke divine support in battle. Athena and Poseidon give you uh, battle buffs specifically.
So a decisive victory for Sarpedon. At the end screen here, you can get gold, bronze, food, and experience from battles. You can also barter the lives, or you can get morale buffs at the end, which you've seen in other Total Wars. They will serve as slaves. I advance. Felicia. Precious resources can be achieved throughout the campaign map for additional army buffs, white granite, celestial iron, and uh, Minoan relics for buffs. Unfortunately, guys, on that note, it's time to end the video here. Thank you very much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed today's video. This was incredibly last minute and was a little bit rushed. As I said, I was not expecting this here today, and I sort of had to eyeball it and sort of go on my own impressions, as there's usually a bit of a breakdown to highlight certain things. For example, like, I, I just don't know what it took me. It took me... <laughs> It took me ages to figure out what is that a what icon is that I guess it's a bronze I guess that's bronze like just some of these things you just don't know so please do take into consideration that this is early access gameplay and is still in development and let me know if anything you've seen that sort of piques your interest let me know in the comment section down below um, there's gonna be more Troy information coming out on the next weeks and months uh, I'm assuming so I'm gonna try and share as much of it with you as as I can and we could once more information gets released we could go a little bit in depth on these sort of particular things like the playable factions like the building chains divine will agents deities and when we get more information i can sort of highlight and, and do more stuff on that so maybe um we could do more videos on that if that's something you'd like to see but thank you very much from the creative assembly for sending me this b-roll footage here today and making this video possible so wherever you are, are out in the big wide world make sure to take care of yourselves have a fantastic rest of your day much love from australia my name has been simsy goodbye